Well, I think that in Mad Max films, I think that the chase sequence, which this is, the whole film is basically a chase, uh, is an action film. It's a stunt film. I mean, these people out there, the, the rough riders, the, the rock climbers and, and all of those uh, people who are becoming natives of a post-apocalyptic desert, you know, they're fairly butch characters. And I think that uh, to show that they are prepared to die to get a tank full of petrol or water or food or whatever, uh, had to have some pretty amazing uh, stunts so that I think that it continued in this one in a big way. I'm uh, a bit anti-CGI. Uh, I've been taught by the CGI uh, guy on this picture, Andrew Jackson, that uh, there is a place for it and it's a beautiful thing and his seamless work uh, really helped make it even more beautiful, but it was used correctly. We decided we had to make every stunt plausible and real and that if we were going to defy gravity then we had to define it first. So it was important to us that we made the last, the last real action film or perhaps the first of a new series of real action films where the rabbit coming out of the hat is as real as it can be. George is a, a director who uses every tool of the trade that he can grab hold of to, to, to make the final presentation. So that, you know, live action, which a lot of the film is, in fact, nearly most of it, with a, with a, with a computer enhancement, uh, and then in post, was very much put on the computers and enhanced there. And I think that in doing that, George has reached uh, a final result that's, that's visually uh, uh, incredible.